Yes, ladies and dudes, two videos in one day. I just released top five penguin KOs. Check that one out. But I wanted to see the latest news on GTA 6. Not these phony things, these phony news that is coming out, but real news. So this is what I found just from today. GTA 6 release date news. New Grand Theft Auto prediction is great for PS4 and Xbox gamers. Grand Theft Auto fans have uncovered another expert prediction that bets on GTA 6 release date coming early 2021. So what that means is it will be a next gen game but you will be able to play it for PS4 and Xbox One, the current gen systems. So as of right now, that is what it's looking like the release date to be 2021. Possibly late, but I don't think it's gonna be like a launch title for these next gen systems and neither do developers or insiders think that as well. The next info I found is actually pretty funny. Mexican actor George <laughs> did CGI for GTA 6 played the Mexican. This is actually pretty funny. We also saw this in GTA 5. So people that work on the game, you know, actors, voiceover artists, they put on their resume that they work, you know, on GTA 5. Well, that happened here. Some guy who worked on the game put on his resume that he worked on GTA 6. And there is his resume. And if you look under film, what do we see? Grand Theft Auto 6 CGI 2018. The Mexican featured Rockstar Games. So they've been working on this game for a long time, obviously. And I will say this, this is basically the hard evidence that we have as up to now. They haven't officially unveiled the game, but come on now, we know they're working on it and they have been for a long time. So now, I go on to some strong speculation. In a Reddit post by a leaker, this guy leaked information on a Fallout game and everything he wrote came true. So he is a known person to put out accurate information. And I'm gonna read this whole thing because a lot of this is very interesting. So this is what he goes on to say about GTA 6. The game will take place in North America and South America, currently under the codename Project Americas for the next gen systems. It will include three to four major cities, Vice City, Everglades, Havana, Cuba, somewhere in Panama, Brazil, Colombia. These parts of the map are still under development. Vice City will serve as a major focus, but we may not start out there. All the cities and islands outside of the US will be named by their real names. As far as the map size, I am not sure how bigger it will be to GTA 5, but the map will be very spread out. So it will feel bigger. From what I've been told, the cities will have depth as opposed to scale, meaning more enterable buildings and interactability. Each city will be separated by large distances of water. I'm assuming we'll likely be able to fast travel. But on your own, it may take you 10 to 15 minutes to fly to each city across the map. I thought that was interesting. The game is in very early stages of development and not much is known about the story, but it will span over multiple decades, 70s, 80s, and present day, and will revolve around a drug smuggler named Casey. There's been a rumor that time will progress through the game as you play it, so each chapter will be set in the 70s or 80s, and as you play through the mission, songs will change, buildings will become closed, cars and characters will decay in time. This was concluded by my source because cars that predate 2000 are being designed in multiple stages to mimic the progression of time. And there's a lot of vehicles being made that predate present day. At the moment, almost 70% are before 2020, 30% are present day. This I found interesting. He goes on to say, weather is being modeled to create category four to five hurricanes. Hurricane heist? Question mark. There is a huge prison in the game, possibly a variant of Guantanamo Bay. I have zero info on story, but due to the sheer size and interactability, I would expect the prison will play a major chapter in the game. Breakout missions? Question marks. Drones are being modeled in the game. Yeah, that's all I know. Very interesting stuff. I will update you guys when more solid info is announced, but 
it's still a long ways away and that's good because they're not doing these like 2k type things where every damn year they come out with the same crap and update it and whatnot they take their time and release the game when they think it is done so that's all we know thanks for watching click that like button subscribe and I'll see all of you guys in the next video and there will be videos every day this month so stay tuned to the channel